something similar to pickled onions, but I'm gonna make fermented onions. So what I need for this recipe are two red onions, 19 grams of salt. I'm gonna use some pickle juice from Bubby's Pickles because that'll be a really good starter. And I need a quart jar, an airlock, and about a quart of water. I'm gonna start by slicing my onions. I'm not gonna chop the onions, I'm gonna slice them in rounds. I'm going to cut this off to make it easier. I have a platform then. Ooh, my eyes are watering. And one last slice. Yikes. That was kind of a mess. Okay, that's one. My eyes are watering. I'm going to cut, cut up the uh, second one, and I'll be right back to you after that. Okay. Okay, so before we get started putting it in the jar, I'm gonna go ahead and make a 2% salt brine using 19 grams of salt for the quart. So here is one quart of water, and I'm gonna put 19 grams of salt in there. So I, so I have my 19 grams already measured out. Salt's in there, now I just need to stir to dissolve. cloudy. We're gonna have to keep stirring until it's it's all done. There, yep, dissolved all the way through. Okay, now what we need to do is pack our onions into the into the jar. So pack tightly. Oops. <laughs> Not like sauerkraut where you're getting um, brine out of the product. Uh, we're gonna have to put brine on top. And I'm probably gonna have to use a, a fermentation weight, so a sour stone, to keep the onions underneath. I'm gonna keep this one for the top. I think I'm gonna have to get my pickle packer. Push down on this. Because I need to have at least an inch of uh, room at the top. So I'm gonna go get my pickle pounder and I'll be right back. I think that's about as tight as it's gonna go. And I'm gonna take this set of intact rings and put it on top. That way when I put my sour stone on top, it'll be flat. So here's my Bubby's pickles. I'm going to use a tablespoon of the juice to act as a starter to get that going. And the water, I'm gonna fill it up to the top. Then I'm gonna put the um, sour stone in. I don't think I'll, yeah, that's good. I don't need to put any more water. All right, I'm gonna put my airlock lid on. And my airlock. I think we're good to go. Well, here it is, fermented onions. We will be coming back to this in seven days to taste it. And if it needs a little bit more time, that's great. So here's my little fermenter's corner, and I think we should do an update on the onions. They're going crazy. If you see that, that's bubbles coming up from... See that? I think these are going to be done sooner than later. Wow. 
Okay, so we're back for the final check on the onions, and I think they're done. They're still pretty active in the fermentation process, but I don't want to overdo it and come up with some mushy onions. So, here we go. First of all, I want you to see how active that fermentation still is. I don't know, can you see that? All those bubbles? Yeah. I'm super excited about this. Goodness, to me this is like an unboxing. I get to unbox or unveil my fermented onions. I'm super excited about this. Okay, let's go ahead and take that airlock off. And take out the sour stone. That is a really interesting scent. It's oniony for sure, but it doesn't have that pungent bite. Okay, I don't know if you've ever had pickled onions, um, but this is nothing like them. Um, I was expecting to have it taste similar to, you know, all the dill and all the stuff that goes into a pickled onion, and it's not that way at all. It's still crunchy, but that onion bite that makes your eyes water is not there at all and doesn't seem to give you the breath um, this is really good I hope you try this and it's another shot of probiotics to my gut okay I thought I was gonna let you go and stop talking about this but I do have to talk about the flavor of this some more it's a little bit tart um, it's not sour, it's just the fermentation process has really transformed the onion flavor and it's got a tartness that's really delightful to the taste buds, especially the ones on the side. Um, <laughs> I hope you try this, I really do. It's great. I'm gonna cap that off and into the refrigerator it goes. My plan for these are to use them in anything I would use raw onion in. With the fermentation, it provides one more level of probiotics for my gut. I hope you'll try this recipe. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed what you saw and that if you did, you'll like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell so I can let you know when I'm coming back in your kitchen. Bye-bye.